In 1946, during a visit to Darjeeling by train, Mother Teresa felt that she heard the call of her inner conscience to serve the poor of India for Jesus. She asked for and received permission to leave the school. In 1950, she founded the Missionaries of Charity, choosing a white sari with two blue borders as the order's habit. On the 10th of September 1946, Teresa experienced what she later described as the call within the call, when she traveled by train to the Loreto convent in Darjeeling from Calcutta for her annual retreat. I was to leave the convent and help the poor while living among them. It was an order. To fail would have been to break the faith. Joseph Langford later wrote, though no one knew it at the time, Sister Teresa had just become Mother Teresa. She began missionary work with the poor in 1948, replacing her traditional Loretto habit with a simple, white cotton sari with a blue border. Mother Teresa adopted Indian citizenship, spent several months in Patna to receive basic medical training at Holy Family Hospital and ventured into the slums. She founded a school in Modi Hyal, Calcutta, before she began tending to the poor and hungry. At the beginning of 1949, Mother Teresa was joined in her effort by a group of young women, and she laid the foundation for a new religious community helping the poorest among the poor. Her efforts quickly caught the attention of Indian officials, including the Prime Minister. Mother Teresa wrote in her diary that her first year was fraught with difficulty. With no income, she begged for food and supplies and experienced doubt, loneliness and the temptation to return to the comfort of convent life during these early months. Our Lord wants me to be a free nun covered with the poverty of the cross. Today, I learned a good lesson. The poverty of the poor must be so hard for them. While looking for a home I walked and walked till my arms and legs ached. I thought how much they must ache in body and soul, looking for a home, food and health. Then, the comfort of Loretto, her former congregation, came to tempt me. You have only to say the word and all that will be yours again, the tempter kept on saying. Dot dot dot. Of free choice, my God, and out of love for you, I desire to remain and do whatever be your holy will in my regard. I did not let a single tear come. On the 7th of October 1950, Mother Teresa received Vatican permission for the diocesan congregation, which would become the missionaries of charity. In her words, it would care for the hungry, the naked, the homeless, the crippled, the blind, the lepers, all those people who feel unwanted, unloved, uncared for throughout society, people that have become a burden to the society and are shunned by everyone. In 1952, Mother Teresa opened her first hospice with help from Calcutta officials. She converted an abandoned Hindu temple into the Kalagat home for the dying, free for the poor, and renamed it Kalagat, the home of the pure heart, Nirmal Ride. Those brought to the home received medical attention and the opportunity to die with dignity in accordance with their faith. Muslims were read the Quran, Hindus received water from the Ganges, and Catholics received extreme unction. A beautiful death. Mother Teresa said, is for people who lived like animals to die like angels, loved and wanted. She opened a hospice for those with leprosy, calling it Shanti Nagar, City of Peace. The missionaries of charity established leprosy outreach clinics throughout Calcutta, providing medication, dressings and food. The missionaries of charity took in an increasing number of homeless children. In 1955, Mother Teresa opened Nirmala Shishu Bhavan, the children's home of the Immaculate Heart, as a haven for orphans and homeless youth. The congregation began to attract recruits and donations, and by the 1960s it had opened hospices, orphanages and leper houses throughout India. Mother Teresa then expanded the congregation abroad, opening a house in Venezuela in 1965 with five sisters. Houses followed in Italy, Rome, Tanzania and Austria in 1968, and, during the 1970s, the congregation opened houses and foundations in the United States and dozens of countries in Asia, Africa and Europe. 